So, hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. So in here we're going to be looking at a part one video on the Zygma Taxol add-on reaction. Pretty much it's quite connected in terms of this concept versus this actual reaction. So this reaction we need to be understand the interactions between carboxyl groups like for example aldehydes and ketones and pretty much the presence of a very critical components of any of these particular compounds you know for we to be able to make this reaction to proceed further we need to know that we need better hydrogen atoms that is quite acidic and that we enhance in the process of this particular reaction note that we need just one of these reagents to actually have a better hydrogen proton so Let's look at this particular reaction over here. Our focus reaction is this particular reagent over here. Take note that this carboxyl group is right beside a particular carbon with protons that is actually better protons. And once this better protons is present over here, then by including a base, pretty much a strong base and a weak nucleophile, we will be able to extract this particular hydrogen atom over here which is quite acidic and then forming double bonds over here and then this bond moves over to the top over here to form this particular intermediate step over here where this particular interaction is being stabilized by this particular lithium atom pretty much why am I saying lithium because in this particular reaction we use lithium that isopropyl amine and why am I using this particular reagent because this reagent one is quite soluble in non-polar solvents one and two is quite impressive because it is tend to be a stronger base and a weak nucleophile and that's what we need for this reaction to be activated and then enhance the formation of this particular reagents over here Take note over here that we have two side products. We have one product where this particular component is pointing up and the other one is being pointing down over here. And what happens then is that once you include this particular other reagent which is an aldehyde instead of a ketone, note that this aldehyde over here doesn't have a better hydrogen atom. And once you don't have a better hydrogen atom either on this side or on the other side, then you tend to form a particular intermediate step and now this intermediate step is quite interesting because if you look at this particular model kit over here this compound tends to be really cleaner like looking at this over here you can see the surface here is quite smooth no angle at all it's just one area straight up so there's nice distribution of electrons and now in here we have this oxygen over here now what happens then is that once this particular double bond over here then acts as a nucleophile by reforming a double bond over here in this oxygen and this carbon this particular nucleophilic attack on this particular carbon which is actually this carbon over here tend to form two side products now we have one product where the oxygen hydrogen here is pointing towards me and then the other side here is pointing away from me so if you look at this model you notice here that this is a plain side so there's an attack that attacks either at this point of region or at the other side of this region and if you want to favor one reaction or the other it's quite impressive that by using this sigma tax or concept of temperature influence on this reaction then we can favor one product or the other either in the E enolate or on the Z enolate that I'm going to talk on in my next video so I'm just going to talk about pretty much the overall understanding of the other reaction so if you look at this model over here the model I'm going to introduce over here has an interesting reagent which is this particular ketone group over here and this ketone group over here notes that it has better protons over in this region and now once this better protons in this region is present now if we include this particular compound which is an aldehyde with no better hydrogen atoms over here because this carbon is a tertiary carbon what we have then is that we include the base which then results in the formation of this particular product
So looking at the mechanism for this, the mechanism for this shows that if I go by starting off with my ketone group, first included in a particular solution, and this solution could either, either be a non-polar solvent, most times we use a solvent with THF, and THF is quite a non-polar solvent, and at the same time, by including this in the presence of a strong base, which is lithium diisopropyl amide. Now, that lithium propyl amide, what happens then is that the isopropyl amide, which is quite a strong base, then extracts this particular hydrogen atom, which is present over here. So by extracting or deprotonating this particular carbon over here, we form a double bond over here, and then we form a particular oxygen with a negative charge over there. And what that leads is the formation of this particular intermediate step where we have our oxygen with negative charge and the lithium component which is actually stabilizing this negative charge over here and then we have our double bond being formed over here and then what happens next is that by including our other reagent which doesn't have a better hydrogen atom what happens in this particular process is that we tend to undergo a nucleophilic attack where this particular oxygen with a negative charge then reforms a double bond over here and then this carbon with a high nucleophilic ability then generates a sigma bond thereby transforming a double bond back to a single bond by attacking this particular carbon with the carboxy group and then we form a negative charge on this particular oxygen over here. So this oxygen is quite impressive because due to the solvent that has been present which is not deprotonating but by the including of this lithium diisopropyl amide then this particular oxygen that removes the hydrogen from this particular base and then forms a hydroxyl group at that particular region. So our product, let me just put hydrogen here. Sorry, the pen is bad. I'll probably change my pen. So our product over here is going to form So that's about it for this particular reaction and we're going to focus more on how this particular so let me cancel this. We're going to focus more on how this particular stereo center over here will favor either the one pointing away from me or the one pointing towards me. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to go to my next video where I'm going to talk more about the sigma taxol reaction, how temperature influences the stereo chemistry favorability of our product. Please don't forget to hit the like button and share and subscribe with everyone around you. Have a good day guys. Peace, love you all and be smart.